Sebastian Riese is hoping to finish his doctoral thesis this year. He's a biochemist and works 10 hours a day in the lab. When faced with particularly complex problems, he often asks for tips from other scientists online. He belongs to an internet forum called ResearchGate. One big advantage is that you get negative information too. People tell you the things that haven't worked, the things that aren't worth bothering with, or the best ways to avoid certain problems. It's very helpful. The network has over a million members worldwide, in particular medical experts and biologists. Sebastian's boss is not yet a member, but is clearly impressed by the online academic community. Very interesting, especially if you want a quick solution for problems that occur regularly. It's definitely good to be able to draw on the expertise of other scientists who are clearly very easy to find through this portal. So what impact is the Internet having on science? That's something physicist and historian Jürgen Renn has been observing closely. I think these networks are extremely helpful. They facilitate communication and make it easier to get into contact with the right people in a particular field. But even more importantly, the sources through which we work are now also becoming available online. Open Access is the name of a new worldwide initiative that seeks not only to establish online research forums, but to make the literature more freely available through the web. Science historians have placed 750,000 high-resolution copies of original documents on the Internet. It all helps researchers to access works and collaborate more easily. I think it's a revolution comparable to Gutenberg's invention of book printing. But as a historian, you realize that this hasn't occurred overnight. It's been a long-term development. A cultural change is required. In the past, scientists guarded their expertise and discoveries religiously. Today they're invited to make their data available as quickly as possible in a database. You could think the individual stands to lose, but in fact, I think we all gain. Sebastian Riese is certainly benefiting from the Internet. Any specialist literature he needs is available online. And should he have questions, he can ask his colleagues, those in his laboratory, or the many thousands who log in around the world.